Hey beautiful beings, here's a sunny beautiful spring update from us here. The mimosa, which is quite an invasive tree, but also great for coppice, has been thinned out. That's the well. Over there is the orchard <laughs> uh, that I trimmed yesterday and it's got quite a few um, fruit trees that are all coming to life. They're all planted in the autumn. The house looking splendid and all the flowers are starting to come up everywhere. Uh, you see I've strimmed down here but <laughs> I have to I keep leaving clumps of wild flowers so at some point I've got to come back along but uh, all oh, the beautiful colours, look. There's so much purple and yellow um, I've noticed in central Portugal, flower-wise. Uh, I don't know if you can see, probably not. There's lots of yellow up there. Um, there's lavender. And look at this. Isn't this a pretty view? The lupins, green manure. So not only are they gorgeous, but they're brilliant for uh, the land. And here's the greenhouse flapping around. <laughs> Been eyeing up a new giant greenhouse too. Maybe next the next season. And these have all got to go in the ground in the garden this week. Well, some of them. This bit, bit particularly. Uh, Lots of herbs, tomatoes. We've already put a lot of the courgettes in. There's some more there. I'm experimenting with black courgettes as well this year. My um, aloe vera edible ones are not happy. I've had these for three years now and they've been fine, but this year they've not been happy. So I've cut them all back and hopeful, let's see it's grown green again here, I'm hopeful they're going to come back now, but we shall see. They're um, almond trees that I planted from seed. Yeah, and some, this was kind of the winter salad and stuff like that. And then here, I want to show you the garden. So. This is a mini Hugel culture bed. If you don't know what they are, they're uh, like a permaculture design where you dig down half a metre and start putting in logs and branches and things like that. And you also come up half a metre, or it doesn't have to be particularly half a metre. Uh, and it creates really nutrient dense soil. So if the soil's been like over farmed or just not very good, and also it means less watering <laughs> also so these are some old strawberries that I brought from another the last place um, but then this is radish that was planted a while ago there's onion um, carrot some of the courgette in the corner or the corner of the bed so they don't take over the whole bed and instead they'll grow out there and then this was the winter bed which is pretty much coming to an end now. Should pick up, uh, use all of these shortly. You can see some of it I've let go to flower because that's nice early flowers before all the others came out for the um, the bees. So then this is a continuation of this one, and there's got lots of strawberries in I planted last week. Um, and then this one will be the next one. So that's filled, but it just needs mulch now. And then they can backfill all the earth. Uh, this is the water at the moment until run some irrigation down here. That was a thick mimosa forest in there too. Um, but it's been thinned out. And this is going to be where the chickens are going to be. Because the chickens don't like too much um, heat and stuff so this would be a nice place a little bit shady for them um, 
it will obviously all be fenced in so there's a big wall there and um yeah i think they'll like it in here and this is the we've had some rain the last couple of days quite heavy rain so this kind of little river's flowing again into this pond which i didn't even know was here actually when i bought the place i didn't know most of the ponds were here and nor did the person selling it it seems but i could hear water a couple of months ago and i started streaming streaming through this meadow well around the edge to the water and then uncovered this beautiful thing which is like this whole area was full of bramble was tall as me pretty much um so it's all been thinned out there's loads of wood there to process um and yeah this was all completely overgrown and stuff so that's really cool really pleased with that oh i don't know if you can see just there there's a lizard a little lizard he's quite a colorful one too can you see him There he goes. He's off. So yeah. Um, it's had some fires because we are allowed at the moment and soon we won't be. And um, not everything that is chopped down can be used in the gardens. Uh, particularly acidic stuff. Um, yeah, see all the strawberries? Doing really well. This has flattened already quite a lot, which is what they do uh, with the rains and things. Oh, I spy a strawberry. <laughs> How exciting. The first. Look at the. Oh, there we go. <sighs> He's not quite ready on the other side. Let's hope the birds don't get him before he turns. They really need covering up soon because uh, the birds like the strawberries. And this is also radish down here. And these are all winter, like I said, all winter veg. So, yeah, it's just been a lot of clearing. You can see down there, I've put up one of the tents on the terrace just down from it. There's another, so that's for volunteers coming soon. Um, been streaming around the borders, just making it more fire safe for when, you know, we've already had some big fires near-ish to here because uh, people aren't very careful about them. This is, um, these are kiwis that will create a bit of shade eventually along here. Um, I can't remember what that is, I think that tree there's a plum and then there's some gooseberries around the corner as well. Uh, considering getting a couple of cows, that's the next news for manure, for um, keeping all the grass down so you don't have to keep strimming it all the time, and some, yeah, for milk sometimes too. But yeah, need to, you're going to need to fence some of the land for that. So that is the plan to get a couple of cows, but as and when that happens, I'm not sure. So yeah, this is this is what's been going on really. It probably doesn't sound like very much, but it's <laughs> been doing a lot of stuff. Um, and yeah, everything is coming alive now. This spring has sprung and it's really, really coming alive. Yeah, so there you go. That's the update for now. Ciao.